Hello, this is Lelosaurus Rex, and today I want to talk about the top 10 Dead by Daylight murderers. We are going to be looking at the scariest, sexiest, and the super -est killers from Dead by Daylight. Trust me on this one, guys, I am a pro at this game, so you're going to want to take my word and also follow me and subscribe, like, right now. Number 10 the spirit the spirit is definitely one to use if you want to get some small jump scares but she's at the bottom of this list for her very useless ability going invisible sure that's cool but you can't even see the survivors this bootleg version of casper the friendly ghost is certainly on another level of spooks she's lethal with her shattered katana but really gets things going with her insane power speeds I mean, look at her go, it's just insane! No survivor could possibly keep up with my spirit. Number 9, The Blight. The Blight is a bouncy ball built for destruction. But as we all know, bouncy balls can go all over the place. With Blight's insane ability to launch across the screen five times to get a lethal rush, he can cause some serious damage. However, he is impossible to control sometimes. I mean, look at this stupid position. It's just, uh, how? How do I get past this part? His cane is nothing to laugh at either. Two whacks from that thing, and you're in the hospital with two broken knees and a fear of old men. Number eight, the trickster. Although he has the voice of an angel and can definitely bust a move, the trickster is definitely one to fear. His vocal range is so unique that he can buggy bomb you from miles away. One second you're doing a generator, and the next you're hitting a default dance while your teammate gets a rectum check. <laughs> as well as being appealing, he's got some knives and a bat, which I mean, can be kind of helpful when you want to hit the survivors, but it's pretty easy if you, if you look at me. Number seven, the Legion. These guys are seriously no joke. The Legion's frenzy ability is OP. The fact that you can run so fast and also injure all four survivors with it so quickly is insane. Definitely a gang to fear. Not only for their ability, but for their appearance too. You'll notice some stuff that make the Legion even more OP. First is their masks. Recognize it? Of course you do. It's just like the hit celebrity, Dream. I mean, have you seen that guy play Minecraft? He takes the game and makes it his bitch. He is OP. Having that speedrunning mask power as well as frenzy is a very overpowered combination. Number six, the ghost face. This guy is like a deadly ninja. He just murders people and sneaks away. Not only that, but look at the way he cleans his knife. Can you actually get more badass than that? The ghost face comes with the ability to activate Night Shroud, where he's undetectable and can stalk you to get more powerful. When have you ever seen something like that? Imagine all you had to do was watch your next door neighbor water their plants at 3.45pm exactly every day, because that's when their husband leaves the house and nobody's around to spot you peeking at them. And you get more powerful. Like, yes please. Number 5. Freddy Krueger. This guy is OP. If you've ever seen a Nightmare on Elm Street movie, you know Freddy does not hold back. And it's exactly like that in DVD. Freddy brings the survivors into the dream world, where they suffer from the oblivious state and could also use dream traps. This is just broken. I mean, seriously, look at this gameplay. The survivors are terrified and relying on a stupid alarm clock to save them they must be nuts if they think they are waking up anytime soon. <laughs> Call me Chloroform, because I am keeping you asleep. <laughs> At number 4, we have Jason Voorhees. Jason in the most recent patch has become a pretty scary figure for the survivors. With the ability to teleport, catch up to survivors, stalk and enhance his own strength, he is someone you don't want to be camping near. I always hear survivors complaining about camping in Dead by Daylight. Why are you face camping? And then they come over here and camp in my own home? Are you just dumb or stupid? As well as that, he's always equipped with a number of weapons. 
His main one, of course, being a machete. But if you get bored, you can always use a spear or even a pitchfork. I know I'd never want to come camping here. Number three, the doctor. The doctor is a madman, fueled with nothing but the intention to torture and kill. He does this with his ability to shock survivors and increase their madness. He bludgeons foes with his big pointy stick and drives them insane with his shock therapy. The doctor is a cruel killer. He summons clones of himself which are terrifying. One second you're self-caring and the next you have a fake doctor looking at you. As well as this, he's built with a terrifying laugh. Imagine hearing this laugh at your jokes. So that's what I said. These nuts. <laughs> what the, f what the f <laughs> Number two, the pig. Oh my god. I don't even think I need to say much for the pig. If you have ever seen a Saw movie, you know just how powerful she can be. She comes with four reverse bear traps, and those things are impossible to take off. Seriously. That trap is just extremely rigged, and the survivors have to find a key? Might as well just give up at that point. She also has the ability to crouch and become undetectable, which is insane. She has huge pressure, and she can be stealthy, and it doesn't end there. She can also ambush survivors, where when she's crouched, she does a long attack, stabbing the survivor right where it hurts. Her scare factors, as well as her crazy abilities, make her number two. I know I'd be squealing if I saw her. Before we go into the greatest and scariest DBD killer, here are some honorable mentions. The clown, not fun for parties. The nurse, won't catch me getting a health checkup anytime soon. The huntress, I really, really miss my wife. Wait, don't, don't put that in. Don't, uh, hey, I said don't put that part in. Our number one dead by daylight killer is Goku. Goku for a long, long time has been by far the strongest and scariest killer in Dead by Daylight. His ability to just be better than your character is insane, as well as the constant jump scares at every corner hearing, Hey, it's me, Goku! Seriously terrifies me. He can teleport wherever he wants, go Super Saiyan to increase his base speed by 300%, or when his power bar is full, he can use his Kamehameha ability to kill all survivors instantly. He does lose out at the fact that he's too strong for even the player to handle sometimes. So be warned, I'm not sure you could handle it. When it comes to maintaining fear in Dead by Daylight, you'll know it'd be a good time when you hear. Hey, it's me, Goku! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe. And follow my Twitch as well as my other socials, please. I'm begging you. Let me know if you want to see any other top 10s. And I'll see you whenever.